Now, some of y'all know Nikki Haley has had a, a pretty rough campaign as it pertains to talking about race and slavery. She said that uh, the Civil War was about e basically everything but slavery and had to be pressed on it to eventually say slavery was the cause of the Civil War. But then one of this whole spiel about how much it was, how it was about, it was, it was about much more than just slavery. It was about far more than that. It was about, you know, what the government can tell you and what you can or can't do and what freedoms you can or can't have and all this dumb shit. Man, the Civil War was about slavery. The Confederates themselves made it very clear the Civil War was about slavery. Why, oh why, are we still playing this game? Now, Nikki Haley said that America was never a racist country. She said that. Earlier today, Nikki Haley uh, made a claim that the U.S. has never been a, a racist country. Take a listen. Are you a racist party? Are you involved in a racist? We're, we're not a racist country, Brian. We've never been a racist country. Our goal is to make sure that today is better than yesterday. Are we perfect? No. I know. I faced racism when I was growing up. But I can tell you today is a lot better than it was then. Uh, Haley's campaign followed this up with a statement uh, later on saying, quote, America has always had racism, but, racism, but America has never been a racist country the liberal media always fails to get that distinction now nikki haley apparently has doubled down on her statement i haven't watched the video yet so we're gonna watch it in real time in a racist country unquote protections for the institution of slavery were written into the u.s constitution the white house was built with slave labor your home state of south carolina seceded from the union fought a war to defend the enslavement of black people I understand you don't think America is a racist country now, but we're here at a college. Do you really think as a, as a historical matter, America has never been a racist country? I mean, think about what you're saying. First of all, I will tell you, when you look oh my at God. You know, the first of independence, it was that you know, oh men my are created God. equal with unal un un unalienable rights. I think it's inalienable. I don't think it's Somebody go get Trump. Somebody go get Donald to come get up out of here, bro. Somebody go on ahead and carry up out of here, bro. Man down. Wounded. She, bro, what could she possibly say, bro? She honestly, she has no choice but to double down. She truly has no other choice but to double down. She's dug herself into such an unnecessary hole. And it's just, and it's like no one else wants to touch what she's got going on. I know Trump is somewhere laughing at this. I know DeSantis is somewhere probably rubbing his hands real nice right now. And I know Vivek is probably somewhere laughing too. How is everyone else dodging these crazy statements but her? Right? That was what we all knew. But what I look at it as is I was a brown girl that grew up in a small rural town. We had plenty of racism that we had to deal with. But my parents never said we lived in a racist country. And I'm so thankful they didn't because for every brown and black child out there, if you tell them they live or were born in a racist country, you're immediately telling them they don't have a chance. And my parents would always say, you may have challenges. And yes, there will be people who are racist, but that doesn't define what you can do in this country. And so I think it's important that we tell all kids that look, America is not perfect. We have our stains, we know that. But our goal should always be to make today better than yesterday. It's hugely important. And that's the problem I have is we have too many people with this national self-loathing. It is killing our country. But we also have people like you who are, ha you know, stuck in this like national delusion of the past. You're not even white. Here's my thing. I would have so much more like sympathy for Nikki Haley if she was white. Because at least it could be like, well, you know, you know, you could just be like, look, you know, bless her heart. She's ignorant. She's been taught dumb shit by her white parents. She's a white Southerner. She's been taught that slavery wasn't the cause for the Civil War. She's been taught that America was never racist. You know, what do you expect from this young, you know, maybe rural Southern white girl that, you know, has just been brainwashed? You are a brown woman. Your name is Nimrata Haley. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what her actual Indian surname is, her maiden name, but your name is Nimrata. You are not white. You are Indian. And I'm not saying that race should determine your opinions, but Lord have mercy. <laughs> like, for 
for a brown person to be this delusional about American history? Look, I love America. I think America is the greatest nation to ever exist. But even I can admit that America has been a racist country in the past. It's not, you cannot, there's no getting around this. There is no getting around this argument. I don't care how you feel. There is no getting around this. My ancestors worked on the fields of this country in the South for hundreds of years. Okay, like for hundreds of years, my ancestors on my father's side, I'm half Caribbean, half black American. My black American ancestors worked on slave fields, on plantations for hundreds of years. Then spent another like 150 years or at least, yeah, another 100, no, another 100 years being non-equal in this country, being second class citizens, fighting wars for a country that thinks that they're not even human. So how is it that I, a black American descendant, I'm someone whose ancestors built this country, you know, my, my ancestors have been here from literally day one. How can I make peace with my own heritage and my country's history? And yet a woman who is the child of two immigrants, you shouldn't have any, you shouldn't have this much of an irrational, emotional connection to America. And that's coming from someone who's a jingoist. I believe America should be the most dominant nation in the world. I love America to death. But for a brown woman who is one generation removed from India... You can't possibly have this delusional of a perception of American history. We have got to go back to loving America. We are blessed. Agreed. Agreed. We need it. We need to love America. I believe you. I agree with you on that, Nikki. But you tripping right now. Because that little brown girl in that small rural town in South Carolina, she grew up to become the first female minority governor in history. But you were able to do that because black folk in America who weren't equal had to fight for the right of non-whites to even be equal in this country. Because at one point, non-white people weren't equal in this country. You're only able to do what you were able to do because black folk in America who started out as property paved the way for you to even be here, much less run for office. So it's like Nikki Haley, like I'm not even taking this shit personal. Like as a black man, I'm not even taking this personal. Like fuck Nikki Haley, like nah, I'm chilling. It's I'm just disappointed. Number one, from a political standpoint, I'm disappointed that she's fucking up on such an easy thing. Like Nikki, why are you messing messing up like this? You can you can oh, you can't win, but you could do better than this. Okay, come on, you're smarter than this. You're better than this. But from just a critical standpoint, from like an ideological standpoint, like Nikki Haley, you are just objectively wrong you can always just say hey i misspoke she then went on to be u.n ambassador and now she's running for president of the united states i want every brown good. and black child to see that and say good work no, nikki I don't live in a country that was formed on racism i live in a country where they wanted all people to be equal and to make sure that they had life liberty and the pursuit of happiness okay but just to just to push back a bit, because I was a history major in New Hampshire. Um, you're talking about the ideals of America. But America was founded institutionally on many racist precepts, including slavery. But when you look, it said all men are created equal. I think the intent, the intent was to do the right thing. Now, did they have to go fix it along the way? Yes, but I don't think the intent was ever that we were going to be a racist country. The intent was everybody was going to be created equally. And as we went through time, they fixed the things that were not all men are created equal. They That's just not true. That is just cap. <laughs> Here's the thing about what she's saying. What do old heads always say? Old heads always say this this funny shit. They're always like, uh, "What's understood doesn't need to be explained" or some shit like that. Oh, I don't, I don't need to explain what's. Old heads love to say that. What's understood doesn't need to be explained, Nikki. The founding fathers and white Americans at that time didn't feel the need to say outright, "Hey, um, all men are created equal, and by all men we mean white." They never felt the need to say that because it was already understood. 
black people were perceived as not only biologically less than human, but legally less than human. Not only were they considered legally less than human, they were owned as property. When you own a race as property, when you believe a race of people to be so beneath you that they deserve to be property, you don't really have to write in your founding document, oh, and by the way, all men but these blacks are created equal. You don't have to write that in there because what's already understood don't need to be explained. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't got to say it, nigga, you know. So... For her to sit there and harp on the founding fathers, nigga, the founding fathers owned slaves. George Washington, you can find literal flyers on the internet of back in the day of George Washington trying to get people to help him find his runaway slaves. Like, why are we like having this like, bro, many of the founding fathers believed that black people were racially inferior. This is not a discussion just because they didn't put it in the document doesn't mean anything and just because the document doesn't specifically say all white men are created equal it was very clear in american society what they meant by all men are created equal furthermore americans believed the anglo-saxon breed of white people english descended white people to be the tippity top of the racial hierarchy meaning if you were sicilian polish uh, even maybe even German, you were going to receive some level of pushback. Irish, you were going to perceive, you were going to receive, excuse me, you were going to receive a lot of ethnic pushback from white Anglo-Saxon Americans. That's just the way it was back then. The idea that somehow or another, this nation was never racist because they wrote in the document that all men are created equal is hilarious. America was a racist nation at one point, and that's just that's fine. Like most nations throughout human history have been racist. The Romans thought themselves to be genetically superior to the Germans. The Germans thought they were better than literally everyone during World War II. The Japanese thought they were better than literally everyone during World War II and tried to kill everyone. Um, every nation worth its salt, especially, has had a racist past, right? So trying to undo American history to rewrite the story to make conservative voters feel better is sad. Are conservative white American Southern voters so soft that they need a brown woman to tell a lie about American history? Nikki Haley, you would have never accomplished what you accomplished, and I applaud you for accomplishing what you did as a woman of as a woman and a woman of color. I applaud you. But for you to make shit up about American history. It's so not nice to communities that had to deal with the actual brunt of American racism, like Native Americans, like black folk, and to an extremely lesser extent, Irish, Polish, Sicilian people who had to also deal with discrimination. Nowhere near what blacks and Native Americans dealt with, but still, America had such racism that even other white people were catching strays. Like, what are we talking about? They made sure women became equal too. All of these things happen over time. But I refuse to believe that the premise of when they formed our country was based on the fact that it was a racist country to start with. I refuse to believe that. I have to know in my heart and in everybody's heart that we live in the best country in the world and we are a work in progress and we've got a long way to go to fix all of our little kinks. But I truly believe our founding fathers had the best of intentions when they started. I mean, that's that's somewhat true. They had the best of intentions for other white men. White women weren't a part of this. Women of color for damn sure weren't a part of this. And black black men for damn sure were not a part of the American dream. There's a reason why the civil rights movement happened. People di- like Nikki doesn't Nikki Haley is so disrespectful with this statement. Like she does remember people have died, Nikki, for your right to even be here. And by people, I mean my people. Malcolm X was shot and killed. Martin Luther King was shot and killed. Fred Hampton was shot and killed. Black people have died for you to be on the stage and just spew bullshit. Like, like, bro, Nikki Haley, I applaud you. I respect your accomplishments. But you need to understand and keep in mind, black Americans have suffered and died for your rights 
to even be an equal citizen in this country. So when you say America was never a racist country, and I understand that you want people to love America and cherish America, and ma'am, I agree. But to lie about this nation's history, to disrespect the even white Americans who laid their lives down and put their lives at risk for equal rights for black people, whether it was white people who helped in the civil rights movement, Uh, Abraham Lincoln himself who freed the slaves and was killed for it. I mean, so many Americans lost their fucking lives in the name of black people being equal in this country. And for you, a brown woman who is one generation removed from Indian parents to say that America was never a racist country is not only hurtful, but it's also like delusional. So I'm not into the business of like shitting on Nikki Haley as a person because this is the same lady who removed Confederate like flags from government areas. I salute her for that. But Nikki, not only are you factually wrong, but you're doing a little bit of damage with the shit that you're saying. You got to chill, Nikki Haley. You have got to chill. Your accomplishments are amazing. And I think Nikki Haley would be a great politician. She's a great stateswoman. But... Black Americans have laid their lives down, and some white Americans laid their lives down too in the name of racial equality. And for you, someone who's brown, to jump in and say, well, actually, America was never a racist country, it just blows my mind. (laughs) Like, it blows my mind. Over 500,000 Americans lost their lives to end slavery. Half fought for the right to maintain it, the other half fought to end it, or at least to maintain the union. Too many lives with American history have been lost in the name of race and racism for you to then pop out and say this. So, Nikki, not only do I think strategically you've effed up, but I also believe that just logically you've effed up. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. We can't we can't keep doing this, Nikki. I thought you would have learned. After the slavery comment, but Lord have mercy, bro. I feel bad for, on some level, I feel bad for Nikki Haley. I do. I'm not overly emotional about this. I, I, I understand where Nikki Haley is coming from, but at the same time, Nikki Haley, you don't go by your actual first name. You go by Nimrata instead of, you go by Nikki instead of Nimrata. Now, I know that Nikki is an Indian name, but Nikki is also a, is also an American nickname for Nicole. You know that if you went by your actual name, Nimrata, a lot of people wouldn't fuck with you that do fuck with you. You got that little southern twang going on. You got that little brown dye in your hair. I see what you, I know you're trying to, you know, kind of play off like you're a white woman. And when I was younger as a teenager, I did think you were white. You had me. You had me. I'm not going to lie. You had me. But I'm older now. I clearly can see that you're Indian, which there's nothing wrong with that. Shout out to all my Indians out there. You know how we get down tight shit. But, you know, um, damn, Nikki, like, you're fucking up your campaign. (laughs) You're fucking up your campaign. Stop, please. Oh, my God. But, man, Nikki Haley's just wrong. America was a racist country at some point, like most countries throughout human history. I can't think of one nation that's been, like, super egalitarian besides maybe really the United States. Even in Europe, you can throw bananas at black soccer players on the, on the soccer field. If you threw a banana at a football player in America, you might die. <laughs> like, you might... <laughs> bro, black people gonna stomp you out? White people gonna stomp you out? Everybody... <laughs> bro, by the time you leave the arena, you might be in a bag. <laughs> like, you might not even be in a stretch. You might be in a bag by the time you leave the arena. You might be in a body bag, bro. Not only that, your corpse would be banned from the arena. You can, Your corpse can never set foot back in the arena. Needless to say... Nikki, you're wrong. Nikki, you're wrong. And you got to chill and start, you know, focusing on trying to destroy Donald Trump. You over here playing nice with Trump. Vivek Ramaswamy done violated you in every way. You got bigger fish to fry than is America a racist country. Vivek did, did, did you in the worst way. Trump stay disrespecting you. DeSantis, bruh. Nikki Haley, boss up, please. Like, step on these niggas. Like, why are you being slick, bruh? It's over with for her, bro. I know Trump somewhere laughing. I know Trump somewhere laughing right now like a motherfucker. I know this nigga Trump somewhere laughing. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below because I'm laughing too. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.